Hey guys, it's Cindy and I did this cute sugar skull look for you today. If you want to request a look, go down below and give me a comment and show me some love with a thumbs up and subscribe because you love me and I love you. And I need to go take this off because I've been in this for quite a long time. So anyway, um, just keep watching if you want to learn how to do it. Bye. Apply a layer of clown white all over your face with a foundation brush. I don't think this white is a really good look for me. <laughs> and I'm just placing this all over the skin. It just blends everything so flawlessly. Blend that all out with a stippling brush. Here I'm using Print Eyeshadow by MAC and I'm pulling that up to my eyebrows in kind of a circle so that it gets the skull look. white underneath my eye to make my eye appear bigger. With Black Fluid Line by MAC and an eyeliner brush, just go underneath the white that you just placed in a U shape. Then blend that all out with around the circle I just made with Carbon by MAC. Or you could use any matte black, whatever you want. Blend this all into the print. Define your crease line with Carbon as well. You can use a fluffy brush or a pencil brush. Depends how blended or defined you want the look to be. Then go around the eye. lining my eyes with some white eyeliner by MAC. Here I'm just using one of my favorite colors by MAC. It's a lipstick called Saint Germain. And then I'm just putting that in the insides of my lips for some color and then blending that out with my finger and my foundation brush. Now I'm just adding a little bit of a hot pink, kind of bubblegum pinky look to my cheeks and then add some pearls around that circle that you made. This will be time consuming, but well worth it. I got these little half pearls from Michael's Craft Store. They were a tiny bit expensive, but uh, they came in all different sizes, which is what I wanted. So, you can get them there. If you know where else to get them, let me know in the comments. Also, I applied them with eyelash glue and then just stuck them to my face. Another way you could do it is use a little bit of eyelash glue on the end of a brush, place it to your face, and then put the pearl there. That might have been easier, but I don't know. Either way, I guess it's time consuming.
just make a little swirl coming out from your mouth with the same color and add more swirls. This is the fun part. You can add swirls wherever you want. You don't have to stick to the design I did. You can do swirls on your forehead if you want. Just get creative and have fun. With the same gray color, just create little lines from the corner of your mouth and to the inside of your mouth and then around the pearls that you just placed on your eye. swirl type shape that goes down to your chin. I got these lashes from a Halloween store around my house. P try to avoid these at all costs. They are impossible to put on but I did it um, and they're really really annoying to wear but anyways these are just feather lashes and I'm just putting them on my lash line and then putting cut up pieces on the bottom lash line that I created. Not your real lash line but the one that you created. Make sure the glue is tacky before doing this. With that same gray color and an eyeliner brush, just create some lines down your lips. Add a little more lipstick if you need to. Blend those lines upwards into your nose and chin. Put the tiniest pearls around the little swirls on your face with some eyelash glue. Apparently I'm Dr. Seuss now with my rhyming. <laughs> Cover up any glue that's showing with eyeliner and then make an upside down heart on your forehead. I'm using the same gray paint to do this and then creating a spider web on my forehead by making these lines and then going from there. just make little U type shapes inside of that and make sure they match up and then blend that out a little bit. I'm just going around everything with the darker gray. You can use a black if you want to. I didn't want it to be too harsh, so I just used the gray. But um, I think it looks good either way. using a broken q-tip and placing little tiny dots of eyelash glue to place the pearls on top of that. I use the smallest pearls on the small sides and then it, I go from small, medium to large to the top. This is a little bit time consuming, I'm not going to lie, but it's worth it. I'm just putting some darker gray around the swirls I made for some dimension. 
And here's the finished look. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for more makeup looks at Deneen Dale. And if you have any requests, comment below.